It is a commonly asked interview question for IT professionals. How do you explain RAM to your grandma? How do you explain internet to your grandma? First, let's understand what RAM is. RAM is random access memory, or RAM. It's an essential component in all devices, from PCs to smartphones. RAM temporarily stores all the information a device needs, both right now and imminently. Accessing data in RAM is fast, unlike hard drives that are slower but provide long-term storage. This is how I'll explain it to my grandma. RAM could be considered as a pantry or temporary storage in the kitchen, and taking out ingredients into the kitchen to cook as needed. This is where all the groceries go after you shop, and so when you need some special recipe to cook, the ingredients can come out of the pantry so that you don't have to run to the grocery store every time you shop. The processor is the chef who's cooking and who has the ingredients to get from the pantry. Depending on the pantry size, you can store as many ingredients as possible. So basically, when you use your computer, the processor or chef can access the files that are saved on the drive, like the chef pulling ingredients out from the grocery store. It will then take those files or ingredients and place them on the memory the pantry to use the files. When the processor is finished using the files, it can place them back in the storage. Another analogy of explaining RAM to my grandma, simply put, imagine an area where there's no water for up to 10 miles. You have two options, bring water and store it in a water tank at home or go 10 miles over and over. Another approach is to bring all of the water you will need in one go and store it in your home. The second choice is like RAM, the commonly used items are kept in RAM. RAM, explain to a five-year-old. I would use an analogy. RAM is like Play-Doh, as ROM is like a building block. Play-Doh can be repeatedly reshaped to reassemble a different object, just as RAM can be rewritten over and over using different data. Building blocks are solid and cannot easily be changed. In fact, changing them destroys the whole object. Alternatively, you could just use a single simile. Memory is like Play-Doh. It is RAM when it can be reshaped and continually manipulated to reassemble any form or data. But if it's left to dry out, it solidifies and can no longer be easily manipulated. At which point, I guess, you could say it's become directly comparable to ROM. RAM explained to a teenager. RAM is actually a temporary memory. Consider you read a quote somewhere or overheard a phone number. If you didn't save that phone number or quote at that time, it will then be deleted from your memory as it was temporarily going on your mind and as soon as you thought about something else, it's gone. Same as RAM. Consider you made some changes in your art piece on paint your computer has in its temporary memory. As soon as you open something else by closing without saving, it's deleted. Both RAM and HDD are memory. The difference is when something is on RAM and you save it in your memory, it goes to HDD. Like the phone number you overheard, you wrote it somewhere, it's saved. Now that's HDD. RAM explained to a college or graduate student. Random access memory, or RAM, is a type of computer data storage. A RAM device makes it possible to access data in random order, which makes it very fast to find a specific piece of information. Certain other types of storage are not random access. For example, a hard disk drive and CD will be read and write data in a predetermined order. The mechanical design of these devices prescribes that data access is consecutive. This means that the time it takes to find a specific piece of information can vary greatly depending on where it's located on the disk. RAM devices are used in computer systems as the main memory. RAM is considered volatile memory, which means that the stored information is lost when there's no power. So RAM is used by the central processing unit, or CPU, when a computer is running to store information that it needs to be used very quickly. But it does not store any information permanently.